Hey y'all, welcome back to Tactical Alliance Gaming and another Raid Shadow Legends video. Now, in this episode, we're going to talk about my top five picks for epics that are better than legendaries. Now, we're going to leave Maneater off the list because we all know how busted he is as far as unkillable. All right? So we're going to leave that off the list. But we're going to start right off the bat with the orcs. And we're talking about uh, where's she at seer seer is an absolute wave clear monster most of you guys already know about her okay she's all about that a3 her karma burn she takes all your buffs from all the allies and the enemies rips them and just absolutely nukes wipes out waves like you wouldn't believe if she doesn't kill them she puts them to sleep all right Damage based on enemy max HP. It is on a four turn cooldown. So pairing her with a Kaimar or a Renegade, something like that for a reset on that will just get you through waves like you wouldn't believe. Okay. She is a staple in my uh, Fire Knight 20 farm team. Um, she can work in 25 as far as wave clears, but you're going to need somebody that's really going to put up a lot of buffs to really make her work. All right. But she is absolutely phenomenal, even though she is a void. All right, next up, we're going to go to High Elves. We're going to move away from a Void here, and we're going to go straight up to my boy, Royal Guard. All right, again, absolute nuke uh, on your Stage 20 teams. Um, if you're kind of getting up to that point, farming them, you have two of these guys, you are set. Even one absolutely hits like a freaking truck. Damage based on his enemy, max HP. Uh, but he is all about this A2 with his takedown okay now the thing with him is he does have a decreased speed on his a3 and a uh, big version decreased defense on his a1 so he can be viable for things other than just a straight up nuke all right but royal guard top notch booked not booked doesn't matter this a2 absolutely crushes all right so next up we're going to come right down you guys all know her in night rev you guys all know this girl right here skull crown absolute nuke okay these girls well these champs they're all basically nukers uh we do change it up a little bit with the last two but skull crown right here her passive makes it unbelievable she revives uh when she is paired with senatia uh with 30 percent hp she does every time her hp drops below 20 percent. she also throws an unkillable on uh, for one turn. Now, we all know this if we've ever just tried to straight out nuke her uh, with a single hit in Arena. That uh, I think that, that unkillable does give her a chance to come back, get a shot, and just wipe your team. Okay. Right here, though, her A2 does hit like a freaking freight train. This girl can hit, y'all. All right. Tax all enemies, 50% chance of placing, 25% weaken for two turns. And on our A1, it is an AoE, attacks all enemies, places an extra hit if the target has more than 50% HP. This is why she pairs really well with Senatia for a blender comp. Senatia's A1 is also an AoE that hits twice if the target has less than 50% HP. Okay, so get this girl a little bit faster on that ally attack. Comes in, she hits, knocks them below, uh, gets that double hit. Knocks him below 50% HP, Senacious hits, gets that double hit, and just finishes off the team. She does have a speed aura for arena battles by 23%, so early game, if you get her, she is a viable speed lead until you get a high Katoon or something like that. And she looks kind of cool, okay? She's not a bad-looking champ, okay? So next up, we're going to dive right down here into Organ Tribes for the last two, all right? Uh, let's see. We're going to dive right in. Eurogrim. This is a guy I don't have on my account. You want to talk about poisoners? This guy is it. He straight throws it down. Okay. He has a three hitter on his A1. 25% chance of placing poison. You book him. It does go up to a 40% chance uh, per hit. His A2. He does have a cleanse on him right there. And then a heal. Is a three he does place three poisons on all enemies for two turns also two 15 percent continuous heals on all allies for two turns this dude straight up throws out poisons like it's going out of style can solo dragon 25 
Uh, and he does have ally speed in all battles by 20% on his aura. This is a guy I do not have on my account yet. I want him bad, okay? He's probably out of the epics. He's probably my most desired epic at this point. Other than that, we're going to follow it up with a cult brawler uh, while we're talking about poisoners. Other than Eurogram, this guy is the best poisoner for your clan boss team uh, without a counter attack. Okay, on his A1, bam, 50% chance of placing a poison. His A2, block revive, not going to do much on his um, on clan boss. Uh, his passive, he also places 2.5% the small poison on him for each or for four turns at the start of each turn also has 70 percent chance of placing a five percent poison debuff on a random en enemy for four turns at the start of each turn so right there clan boss dude is a one and is passive throwing it out now you can block out this a2 so you're not wasting time on this stuff um you can block off that a2 uh on clan boss uh thanks to the ai override Looks kind of cool. I mean, he's got, you know, he's got his little beer belly going on there with some ink, with some, uh, you know, some ink works or actually might be ta or scarring. But either way, it looks kind of cool. But guys, those are my top five picks for epics that are better than legendaries in specific areas of the game. Um, but there you go. I mean, you've also got, you know, Skull Crusher, uh, honorable mention there. But uh, there is Martyr and Valk, both uh full team counterattack champions um so i mean there there are other options to follow with that one but anyway guys there you go five epics better than legendaries absolute nukes poisons phenomenally it just i mean throwing it out all right guys anyway don't forget if you're new hit that subscribe button hit that like share the video all that fun stuff really helps out the channel all right, guys, thank you so much. Let me know who you think, who your top, uh, one of your top epics uh, that you think is better than the legendaries uh, in the comments below. Also, guys, we stream Monday through Friday on Twitch. Okay, so I'll also add a link to that in the uh, description below. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by, and I'll catch you next time.